Today, around the world, demagogues appeal to our worst instincts. Conspiracy theories once confined to the fringe are going mainstream. It's as if the age of reason, the era of evidential argument is ending and now knowledge is increasingly delegitimized and scientific consensus is dismissed. Democracy, which depends on shared truths, is in retreat and autocracy, which depends on shared lies, is on the march. Hate crimes are surging as are murderous attacks on religious and ethnic minorities. Now, what do all these dangerous trends have in common? I'm just a comedian and an actor, I'm not a scholar, but one thing is pretty clear to me. All this hate and violence is being facilitated by a handful of internet companies that amount to the greatest propaganda machine in history. The greatest propaganda machine in history. Let's think about it. Facebook, YouTube, and Google, Twitter, and others, they reach billions of people. The algorithms these platforms depend on deliberately amplify the type of content that keeps users engaged. Stories that appeal to our baser instincts and that trigger outrage and fear. It's why YouTube recommended videos by the conspiracist Alex Jones billions of times. It's why fake news outperforms real news because studies show that lies spread faster than truth. And it's no surprise that the greatest propaganda machine in history has spread the oldest conspiracy theory in history, the lie that Jews are somehow dangerous. As one headline put it, just think what Goebbels could have done with Facebook. On the internet, everything can appear equally legitimate. Breitbart resembles the BBC. The fictitious protocols of the elders of Zion look as valid as an ADL report. And the rantings of a lunatic seem as credible as the findings of a Nobel Prize winner. We have lost, it seems, a shared sense of basic facts upon which democracy depends. When I, as the wannabe gangster Ali G, asked the astronaut Buzz Aldrin what was it like to walk on the sun? <laughs> the joke worked because we, the audience, shared the same facts. If you believe the moon landing was a hoax, the joke doesn't work. When Borat got that far in Arizona to agree that Jews control everybody's money and they never give it back, the joke worked because the audience shared the fact that the depiction of Jews as miserly is a conspiracy theory originating in the Middle Ages. But when, thanks to social media, conspiracies take hold, it is easier for hate groups to recruit, easier for foreign intelligence agencies to interfere in our elections, and easier for a country like Myanmar to commit genocide against the Rohingya.